My name is Lucas, it starts with Alice in like, ends with S and subscribe. And today I want to make maybe the most important video I have ever done on this channel so far. And that is my top prints to give away to family and friends. Because although I am super excited about printing my first prints for my Bamboo Lab A1 specifically, and printing a lot of prints for my printers, uh, not all of my friends and family seem to appreciate that as much as I did. So I'm guessing that most of you might be in a very similar situation and these are the prints that I think will be not only a conversation starter but also something that will make your friends and family genuinely interested in 3D printing themselves. And some of you might have already seen my Father's Day special where I was talking about for example this Cascade wallet and also some LP designed coasters which Thank you very much. I have now learned that LPs could actually come in all different kinds of uh, colors and patterns and different styles. So if you do want some print ideas for your dad, or maybe if you are a dad yourself, please go and check out that video right away. But for the rest of these prints, it is not so much about the print themselves, but it's a little bit more of the overall ideas that could uh, probably help you get your friends and family more interested in 3D printing in general. And of course, you can follow me on Maker World. You have a link down in the description uh, where you can see all these prints and all the previous one I have printed as well and if there's something that is not from Maker World you will have a link down in the description as well. But the first category of prints are the personalized prints. Not necessarily customized prints but personalized. For example one of my best friends has two cats one black and one white and he also has a phone so I decided to print out these phone stands in the shape of a cat which of course I can then just color in in this case white and black and I think it's like things like these that will first of all make your friends and family realize that wow you can actually create a lot of different things because they have never seen like all the like thousands of STLs or, or designs on Maker World for example. So you can print these while like your friend is coming over to check out your 3D printer for the first time. And I think that is also something very very unique that makes them even more interested that they get to see the entire process. So for example myself, I'm a pretty big uh, PlayStation gamer. So I decided to print uh, this which may not look that impressive and it looked more like a soccer goal than, than anything else. But if you are pairing this up with a PlayStation 5 controller, then this minimalistic PS5 controller stand turns into an almost invisible PS5 controller stand. And I know that today's video is all gonna be about prints for friends and family, but something else that I also printed to myself uh, is this uh, Donald Duck or Scrooge uh, money bin or Penga Binge as we call it in Swedish. I was a huge Donald Duck fan growing up and, and just being able to have my own money bin from Donald Duck cartoons. It it just blows my mind that I can sit here, you know, I, I'm 35 years old, but like you're never too old for Donald Duck. Next product category will be a little bit more advanced for the little bit more harder to impress friends and family. And for those, I highly recommend printing something with hinges or uh, items that move in any way. Uh, I myself was just so impressed after printing this toolbox and seeing this on the plate the next morning when I woke up and just having this entire product just in front of me and it works with like hinges that are, it's just like print in place. Meaning that like, you just print it, you don't have to do anything. There's like no assembly, nothing. It, it prints like this. And it blew my mind like harder than I've ever been blown before. And just like yesterday, I was at an event here in Taiwan, uh, trying to of course promote my, my new business as much as possible. Uh, and we have this uh, articulated Taiwan keychain. So I was like handing this out and people were like, oh, you made this? Wow, this is cool. And, and I was like a little bit underwhelmed with the response because I was like, this is, this is way cooler than what you're giving me credit for right now. Uh, but as we were like continuing talking, they were asking me like, how long time does it take to make one of these? And I was like, two hours printing basically. And then they're like, yeah, but how long time does it take to put this together with a rope? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, but don't you have like a rope in between that, that makes it possible for this to move? And I'm like, 
No, it, it comes out like this. Like, I don't do anything. Like, in this case, I put on, like, the keychain uh, hole here. But uh, it just comes out like this. And they were like, what? Really? Wow, that is, like, amazing. So I had to, like, really explain to them that, that I didn't do anything else. Because uh, they literally thought that ev everything here was just printed, like, piece by piece. And then there was, like, some, some assembly. Uh, and... I know like in, in terms of like the 3D printing community, uh, people are like already tired of, of these articulated dragons. Uh, although I think this specific design is like really cool. It's like a, a Taiwan uh, themed dragon. But for, for people who have like never seen a 3D printer before, like, like myself, I've only been doing this for like a few months. Uh, I think this is super cool. And then when you explain to people that it, it comes out like this from the machine, like, like it moves like this. I think this really blows people's minds and, and the actual, uh, I guess, lack of process in when it comes to like assembly everything. And if you are one of these people yourself who does not have any 3D printing experience, but maybe thinking about the getting into it and buy your own printer, before you do so, I would highly recommend to check out the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay, because not only are they currently celebrating their 11th anniversary of providing customized PCBs with a lucky draw on their website they can also help you with any kind of customized 3d printing service as well so all you have to do is just to provide them with a file on their website then you will get a quote for how much your specific print will cost and then if there are any issues at all if you for example have no idea how to actually create something like this yourself uh, their engineers will reply let you know if there are any issues with the print before it is getting printed and sent out to you and as if that was not enough if you do click the link down in the description and create a new account with PCB way you will get five dollars off your first order as well and speaking about five dollars off or actually a lot of dollars off is the next category of how to impress your friends and family and that is by actually creating real products that people most likely have either purchased before or at least thought about buying for example i printed this airpod case for myself since i do love the color orange uh, in this particular case uh, after using it for a while uh, this pla uh, case top mount has started to fall off. Uh, I, looking back, I should have actually talked to PCB Way myself and asked for one in TPU, I think would be a better material for this specific product. But another product that is just as amazing as the first day I printed it is this uh, iPhone mount. This is absolutely amazing. It is either very simple or very genius depending on how you're you're looking at it just to clarify you do need to purchase an actual mag safe phone charger and inside here at the bottom you also have an apple watch charger uh, and that's how you can actually charge your phone and also your airpod case if you do have one of the newer ones that support wireless charging and the two main reasons for why i think that this is an absolutely perfect product is that first of all it activates the iphone's standby mode which you do need a magsafe charger and putting the phone in horizontal position in order to activate and I have wanted to get one of these MagSafe chargers for the longest time, ever since this function came out. Uh, the problem is that these official ones have just been so expensive and I just cannot justify it. 10 out of 10, the absolute best uh, print I've ever printed. And of course you have, again, all the, the links on my Maker World account, not only for the designs I've talked about in this video, but all the, the previous one and all the future ones as well from Maker World. And then I will leave the, the remaining ones uh, down in the description. But if for some reason your friends and family are still not impressed by all these amazing 3D prints, then uh, you need better friends, uh, but you might also need some NFC tags from Amazon and some NFC tag prints as well. One little thing you need to be aware of is that these NFC tags do come in different sizes. Uh, so the first print that I tried did not fit because I had ordered the wrong NFC tag size, but you will have some affiliate links to Amazon for these specific ones and also a link to this specific model on Maker World as well. So you know that these one will 100% fit at least. Absolutely amazing. I think that every single one will have uh, maybe not a need for an NFC tag, but definitely a use case. So if they have a YouTube channel, if your friends have an Instagram account, uh, every single one 
have something online that they want to promote in one way or another, I'm sure. If people don't know what NFC is or like how it actually works and just how easy it is to make your own, I think that's like the biggest surprise. Uh, people will be mind blown. I'm be I've been doing it with, with just like uh, business cards and just like handing it over on their phones. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just as fun every single time when people uh, try to just add me and it just uh, starts a conversation in a completely different way than if you just hand over like a business card and, and meeting someone like that. Last but definitely not least is the overall category of games. I don't think it matters if you're 3 or 33, every single one can enjoy a good game. And not only can you print like 3D accessories from Settlers of Catan, you can print some organization boxes or even 3D tiles for terraforming Mars, which by the way also is a Swedish game if you didn't know. With 3D printing you can actually print entire games. So in this case I think every single one regardless of where you are in the world will recognize this as Connect 4 or 4 in a row. Uh, I don't know what you call it but you have definitely seen this before. But this has a little bit of a twist literally uh, so when you are putting these uh, tiles or, or bricks in here not only do these spin in a very very satisfying way both uh, both visually and in a nice sound uh, but when you are done and let's assume that you have now connected four and you are gonna restart the game and you have to spend uh, maybe a minute to organize uh, blue and, and orange here well with this magical twist connect four all you have to do is just pull this up and the different colors have sorted themselves like what? I don't know about you, but but you should be amazed by this. I don't give you any guarantees, but, but I can almost guarantee you that all your friends and family will think this is absolutely amazing, uh, unless this is super common in, in the US or back home in Europe, and, and I have lived under a rock for the last 14 years. Uh, but I thought that was super cool. And uh, although I got my, my mind blown already with this uh, simple toolbox, I now had a second uh, moment when I, I managed to, uh, to see this on Maker World. Because these are things that I, not only could I even come up with this idea myself, I didn't even know that these things existed. And maybe they would have never existed without the magical world of 3D printing. Again, maybe this is super common and I just have no idea. Same as the, the LPs. Uh, I accidentally said that I'd never seen LPs in different colors other than black before. I don't think that there's ever been an actual like blue LP. I learned that the hard way that that was way more common than I thought. But uh, yeah, hopefully you found this video uh, educational slash entertaining. Uh, and if you learned a single new thing, or if you found any of these prints that you will print yourself, please do let me know by subscribing to the channel and like this video to show me that you appreciate these kind of videos. So I will continue making many, many more. And since you have now reached the end of this video, I can give you a little bit teaser of what is coming next here on the channel. Uh, I have actually been receiving a few more products uh, this week than I have ever received in my 3D printing career. So we have a lot of product testing coming up, a lot of different printers. One I can share which is in my living room right now is the Anycubic S1 Combo and then we have some other products that may or may not be still under embargo. So you have to simply subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you see those videos as soon as they come up here. I am super excited as you can tell uh, and I cannot wait for my own product testing to see which printer is actually the best one and what new functions and features can we see in other slicers that are not Bamboo Studio. So if that is something that you also want to see please do remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. I start with Alice and like, ends with S, ends with subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.